There are two certainties in life. Everyone will eventually die and every hard disk will also die. With a bit of luck your hard disks die before you do. If you want to make that a certainty you might choose Seagate hard disk as I did. On May 5th of this year I bought three Seagate 8TB hard disks to fill up my new Drobo 5DT and a week later I bought another one. Exactly two months later the Drobo started to report strange errors that eventually pointed towards one of the now two months old Seagates. I contacted Seagate and initially they only wanted to take my complaint seriously if I tested the drive by downloading and running a DOS program. For an Apple user that is rather problematic. I responded that I had an error report plus analysis from the Drobo support group and after some persuasion I was allowed to return the drive to be replaced. I was given a link to request an RMA number. After a week the replacement disk arrived. June 17, the second Seagate drive died. I directly used the link to request an RMA number and the drive was replaced without a problem. Exactly one month later, July 17, the third Seagate drive died and was replaced and the fourth died August 17 and was replaced. The replacement of the fourth drive died on October 2 and was replaced by a drive that not only physically did not fit the Drobo, it also was dead on arrival. That one is currently sent to Seagate to be replaced. I now in total had spent 42 euros on freight and got stuck with a nasty feeling the Seagate drives might be rather unreliable. Having spent over a thousand euros on the four drives does make that feeling even worse. I have ordered a Western Digital 8TB drive to fill the gap of constantly having to send in a defective Seagate drive. Another 300 euros spent. I have over 35 hard disks running, mostly for media, of course my production videos for this channel, photos for this channel and private and my 8TB music collection and of course two backups of it all. So I'm used to having a few hard disks dying on me every year. That's why I like the no worry way of working the Drobos offer. Although I had a problem there too, on which I will report later. I was naively thinking that bad products were no longer on the market. Seagate proved me wrong, very wrong. And the poor customer support requiring me to use a DOS program made me decide to stay away from Seagate in the future. And if you are interested in the report on the Drobo, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question, post it below this video, but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my About Questions video to find out why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.